school bells will be ringing in no time. I know, so that means there's no time like now to start getting your kids prepared and organized for the new year. Sarah P. Welch is the co-author of Everything Almost in Its Place, Control Chaos, Conquer Clutter, and Get Organized the Buttoned Up Way. And she's here with a few simple steps to get you organized. Hey, Sarah. Hello. Now, I know kids are not really looking forward to starting the school year, no, even though once they're in it, they're okay. No. What can they do right now to get a leg up on the competition? Well, before you even think about going shopping for back to school, there are really three secrets to getting and staying organized for mm -hmm. people who don't have enough time to get organized. Whether you have children or not? Whether you have children or not. It works for grown-ups and for kids. There's no such thing as perfectly organized, so stop beating yourself up for falling oh, short of the mark. Oh, I'm glad to know that. <laughs> Focus instead on the 20% of organizational tasks that really matter. And last, ask others for help. You don't really have to do it all by yourself. Okay, so where so, do we get started if we're trying to help our kids? Getting started for back to school, first, there is no time better than the present for going and stocking up on basic school supplies for the entire year. Mm -hmm. There are crayons and notebooks that are as inexpensive as a dime now, and a nickel out Kids there. usually kind of enjoy going shopping for school gear. They enjoy gear. going shopping for school gear. But it can get pricey. It can get pricey, but a great tip is to have your kids actually help you find the best deals on their school supplies. Ah, a little math lesson even a before we get into make school. It, make it a contest then. Make it a contest and see who can save the most on their school supplies mm. and whoever wins maybe gets out of chores for a week or two. Oh, nice. Oh, that's great I idea. like that. <laughs> so, and the other thing about if you're buying in bulk for the year, mm -hmm. buy some storage bins and make the kids responsible for organizing all of the bulk school supplies and making them last over the course of a year. Is That's a the idea? hardest part though, right? Because kids, they want to color and then they just leave the stuff there. And As long as you've got a place for everything, mm -hmm. it's much easier to keep it organized. Okay. And should you buy in bulk? I mean, is this the time to be shopping? There, it is. Everything is so inexpensive right now. There, you're not going to find these things cheaper at any other point of the year. So definitely buy in bulk. Now. Okay. okay. So you get the goods <clears throat> from the store. Now what do you do? Well, homework is a really tough thing. It's not so much fun. Um, but just as at work, we wouldn't think of not having a to-do list teach your children how to do a homework to-do list, whether it's in a basic notebook or on a homework pad, just something that they know the sort of, what do I have to get done today? So you today? have a specific homework pad? They can have a specific homework pad, like this homework pad from Buttoned Up, or they could just have a, a basic notebook where they keep track of all of their assignments. Do they take that with them to school and then write it down during the day, or is that something that stays at home? They should take that to school, write things down during the day, and then bring it home, mm -hmm. and you can look at their homework list with them and yeah, figure out. Yeah, it helps us find out, too. Exactly. So when they get the assignment, they write it down immediately on the pad? Yep. And then they rip this off and put this somewhere? They can put it in a, well, another system that we encourage is an inbox, outbox system for mm -hmm. homework, just like you have an inbox and an outbox on your desk at work. Um, just create a little color coordinated folder, one for incoming things mm -hmm. and one for outgoing things. And, and basically they can put their homework list in their inbox. And it basically. doesn't have to take a lot of space. It doesn't have to take a lot of space at all. It can, they can keep it on just the notebook, notepad mm -hmm. or it's one piece of paper in a little folder. What's a good age to start with your children on doing stuff like this? I would say it's never too early to start working with your children on how to, how to get a little bit more organized and stay on top. But I mean, starting in the first grade is probably an ideal, mm -hmm. ideal point of time. Well, and then, starting first thing in the morning can be a problem sometimes. Oh. Uh, no kids Kid likes to wake up, do they? Um, <laughs> so the trick is really to make it as fun as possible and to make them feel in control of the morning routine. How do you make waking up fun? If well, you've got the secret to this, Folgers there's a in real their cup, right? <laughs> Maybe music um, is always a really fun oh, way so, okay. to wake up. Um, you know, put some, load some fun songs onto an iPod and make the iPod the alarm so that when you're waking up, it's not to a blaring alarm, but rather a fun song. Um, that sort of gets you out of bed on the right foot. Oh, my mom and I used to have cover fights. <laughs> like, I would hide them over my head and she would pull them. It was bad. But music, but music would have helped. And that worked. was on the weekend. It was even worse <laughs> first during the week. And you have a little chore organization chart so over there. Another, I like that, too. Another area is chores that, that can be organized in mm -hmm. general. And 
You know, there are a couple of, of problems that, that arise with chores. One is, you know, you don't necessarily want to pay for getting chores. Use fun charts and stickers and positive reinforcement rather than just money to get your children to participate in chores. Another, Hopefully kids are not listening right now. <laughs> they would not be happy with you, Sarah. Well, I think everybody loves a little positive reinforcement. <laughs> That's true, but they like a little cash coming their way too. Well, they can sticker their way to some cash. I love. Oh, that. I see. So you get to their goal. Exactly. Maybe a fun trip with Teach mom or dad gold. doing something. Exactly. Exactly. Another thing that parents often find difficult in delegating chores is it has to be done perfectly. Mm -hmm. And a great way to teach your children how to do their chores the right way, if you will, is to split it with them. So if it's the dishes, for example, you wash, I'll dry, and I can basically teach you what a clean plate actually nice. looks like. Well, then you're doing and you're sharing together. the time together. And Absolutely. there's different organizational styles. I know that you have a little quiz. Is that in your book, everything almost in its yes, place? Yes, there is a quiz to find your organizational style. The good thing is you brought a copy of your book for everyone in our studio yes. audience, right? right? Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with more of the show.